Hey, I'm Dr. Neil Renaud, Developmental Optometrist at Eagle Eye Performance Vision, where we specialize in vision therapy. Today's video is all about amblyopia, or some people call it lazy eye, and, uh, and I want to talk about all the ways that amblyopia can affect vision beyond just seeing clearly. So if you enjoy this video, if you want to learn more about amblyopia and other areas of vision, then make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow along, and here we go. All right, amblyopia. This is a condition also known as commonly as lazy eye, where one eye or both eyes do not fully develop. It's not able to see clearly, it's not able to function the right way, and this is even with the best possible pair of glasses or contacts on. And this is most typically viewed as an acuity problem. The eye is not able to see 20-20, which in our optical equations means good vision is 20-20, and it can be mild where the, the amblyopic eye sees just a little bit worse than the better seeing eye, all the way to really severe where, where people can actually be legally blind in the amblyopic eye. So traditionally, the treatment that we've been doing for hundreds of years to treat amblyopia is to try to get that eye to see 20-20 try to get it to see clearly. We do this through different therapies where the patient can wear an eye patch or get an eye drop or have some type of way to block the lens of the better seeing eye. Try to penalize the better seeing eye so that the amblyopic eye can be stimulated and learn how to eventually see clearly, see 2020. And this is the way we've been treating and targeting and understanding amblyopia for hundreds of years. Not much has changed. And in my opinion, it's time to change. A lot of optometrists just like myself really go beyond what patching can do. And that's what this video is all about, is presenting you with some research-based evidence of, of skills that are diminished or, or underdeveloped in the amblyopic eye, and then what we can do about it to, to help that eye work better and help the binocular visual system operate better. So a modern 2022 approach to treating amblyopia should go much beyond just getting that eye to see 2020. So amblyopia is a neurological vision problem. It's not necessarily an eye problem. Amblyopia is happening in the brain, not necessarily the eyes. So I don't like the term lazy eye. It's not that that eye is bad. It's that the brain has chosen really to just use one eye more than the other and hasn't learned how to use that other eye in order to get it to see clearly and function properly. So a person with amblyopia usually has many vision problems, much more than just seeing clearly in that eye. The 20-20 problem is the most obvious to them, but they usually struggle with a lot more, a lot of other subtle vision problems that kind of compound and add to the add to the equation. So the first other problem is suppression. This is a big one. This is where the brain is choosing to ignore or turn off the information from the worst seeing eye. So they may have both eyes open and they're looking right at you with two eyes, but they really only see you with their good eye their brain has chosen to turn off the information from one eye because it's too hard for the brain to combine and use both eyes simultaneously. It's much easier and more comfortable to use just one eye. So when you're using only one eye, one thing that's compromised is depth perception. 3D vision or stereopsis, that's developed in the brain. Again, the brain, not the eyes. Stereopsis is the ability to see in 3D, and you can only do that while you have both eyes turned on and seeing clearly and functioning together. If any of that is not happening, if you have a blurry eye, if you're suppressing that eye, if you're pointing it in the wrong spot, then you're not able to see in 3D. You don't have stereopsis. And this is developed early on in life and, and, and quickly improves. Fortunately, we can improve it once once the right treatment starts but in the meantime this is a problem where if you don't if you have two very unequal eyes you cannot see in 3d the way that you're capable of next because those two eyes are not working together and simultaneously it's it's often hard for them to work together as a team and be very coordinated so our eyes need to point at different distances depending on how far away we're viewing and the closer we look, actually, the more, the more those eyes need to work together. So a lot of the patients we see with amblyopia, they struggle to keep both eyes aligned really close. So things like reading and working on a computer and taking tests, those can be really challenging for someone with amblyopia. They can struggle with eye strain and headaches or just really struggle to learn how to read because they have so much extra vision problems going on getting in the way of their cognitive performance. Similarly, the amblyopic eye often also struggles to focus. So we need to zoom in, zoom out, kind of like a camera, 
The better seeing eye usually is much better at that than the amblyopic eye. So an amblyopic eye may struggle to zoom in enough for reading and it's not really participating on near vision tasks. It struggles to make clear vision and can contribute to those headaches or eye strain that happen with sustained near vision work. Next, an amblyopic eye compared to the better seeing eye often struggles to move. It struggles to track moving targets, it struggles to scan target to target or word to word. Uh, the amblyopic eye may be more inaccurate, it may be slower, it may not move as smoothly as the better seeing eye. Um, so that can really get in the way of things like ball sports and, and reading and scanning word to word without losing your place. And once we get all this visual information into our brain, then we need to process and make sense of what we're looking at. So we need to interpret things, we need to retain and remember things we've seen before. We need to find things in a busy background. We're constantly processing and understanding what we're looking at. Studies show amblyopic eyes, are they perform worse at processing and perceiving what they see than the better seeing eye. Next is peripheral vision. The eye that is amblyopic often has a smaller field of view that they're aware of. So it's kind of this, this unequal tunnel vision where one eye, uh, the better seeing eye has a bigger field than the worse seeing eye. It's not that they're, they're missing peripheral vision, they're just, they just have lower awareness to it, so kind of half tunnel vision. And finally, the quality of vision in the amblyopic eye can be worse. So things like contrast, things, things don't appear as sharp and defined for the amblyopic eye. Colors in your brain, you're not perceiving colors as vibrantly and, and at the true color that, that, it, that the better seeing eye can see. So we don't have the same quality of vision, even if we get to that 20-20 mark where both eyes are able to see clearly the better seeing eye functions in so many ways better and often even has a better quality of vision. So as you can see, amblyopia affects much more than just being able to see 2020. There's so many visual skills that can be impacted by amblyopia. The good news is these, many of these can be improved. We see patients all the time that, that make progress and get better and better, and they may always have a dominant eye. That's okay. As long as those two eyes learn to work together, that is the key to life that you have two eyes that can play along and work on the same team. So in our office with optometric vision therapy, we have tons of success improving the, the uh, visual system for people with amblyopia, improve their test scores so that they can, they can uh, pass our tests easier and, and uh, but also really have a, have a greater quality of life. So we see improved reading ability and academics and concentration and attention, better sports performance, better driving, uh, adults can work better and they can golf better and they can they can every time that you're using your eyes which is just about everything every every activity you are able to see with both eyes better and have those two eyes working for you instead of inhibiting and, and making things harder for you so if this excites you make sure to check out our other amblyopia videos check out our vision therapy videos and if you are ready to take that next step give our office a call at 616-848-7548 Tell us about your situation and we will walk you through our process and see if we can help you. If you are not at local to our area in West Michigan, make sure to check out covd.org and you'll be able to click on locate a doctor and find an optometrist that specializes in vision therapy near you. So thanks for watching. Make sure to participate in the comments and let us know what you think and stay tuned for our next video.